Well, the holiday spirit is in the air and in one Washington County community, a local artist is giving folks a window to a winter spectacle. Krista Rose has more on the artist sharing her talents and spreading good cheer. Here in California, PA, one local artist is spreading holiday cheer one window at a time. Gabriella Papini, or Ella for short, has been drawing and painting since she was a kid. Though Ella has done window art in the past around California, it's been some time between decorating panes. Ella says the last few years have been a little rough for her, and this year she just wanted to pick up not only herself, but her community. Coming from somebody who struggled with mental health issues, I know how lonely it can be walking up and down these streets, and um, it really means a lot to me that a lot of folks who are down on their luck walking around here can enjoy my artwork. It makes a difference. The stores in California seem to agree with Ella that a little art goes a long way. So far, Ella has done three windows on commission, with several more about to get painted. I collaborated with some businesses. We came up with some ideas. I gave them a sketch, and then I work on it for one day straight, about seven hours. And then um, I have about four more businesses in commission right now. Ella is hopeful that she can keep painting windows for the community for different occasions throughout the year. Ella's mom, Marsha Papini, who runs California Consignment, one of the shops whose windows Ella has already painted, says she's just so proud of her daughter and she hopes people pick up on the holiday spirit from her work. I just hope they take away a warm feeling of the holidays. Uh, that's the main reason she does this and I think that's a good thing to do nowadays. Now, if you'd like to see Ella's work in person, you need only stroll through downtown California and check out the stores she's worked on. Gives a whole new meaning to the term window shopping this holiday season. Reporting in California, PA, Chris DeRose, KDKA-TV News.